Good morning, Glads. It's finally Friday. I'm Abby Lorbecki. And I'm Anthony Berkey, and this is your KWHS News. College visits have started again, and the Counseling Center will be buzzing this February. Our local sweetheart, UCCS, will be here on February 14th. If you are interested in Nebraska schools, check out Chadron State College on February 15th. The Paul Mitchell Reps will be here on Thursday, February 16th at lunch. Those of you interested in UNC Greeley, their rep will be here on March 8th. Remember to sign up at the Counseling Center for your hall pass. And while you're there, check out the other schools coming out to visit soon. You can also access their website for other college-related information. Seniors, remember the Senior Panoramic Photo is next Wednesday, February 8th. Wear your senior shirt for the photo and you'll be released early for lunch. Students, remember to turn in your completed Renaissance applications to Miss Sardinia in room 130 today. Glads, if you have not purchased your yearbooks, the price is now $65. Buy your yearbook in the business office or go to yearbookforever.com. Also, if you picked up an application to be in next year's yearbook staff, those are due today in room 104. See Ms. HK in the library for more information. Hey, Anthony, want to know what we're having for lunch? Let's check in with Miss Betsy. Hey, Miss Betsy, what's for lunch? Happy Friday, everybody. Come down to the cafeteria and join us for roasted chicken, mashed potatoes, and gravy. You know they're always great. Thanks, and have a great day. And by the way, please pay your lunch charges. We need to, I mean, we're already in February, so come on, let's get her done. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. I can't wait. Attention Glads, do you need a little something something for your sweetheart, BFF, or bae? Then you're in luck. The freshman class is selling candy grams for only one dollar and will be delivered on Valentine's Day during advisory. Act fast because candy grams will only be sold on February 9th, 10th, and the 13th at lunch. Need something a little more substantial than a candy gram for your love? Try your luck for the Valentine's Day cakewalk by the small gym at lunch on February 14th. A bounty of sweets awaits you. Thanks to all of you who are filling out those reverse power cards for teachers. Remember to fill one out for the teacher who makes your school day better and drop it in the bin at the attendance office. We'll have more shout out videos for you on Monday. Now here's Dylan Ham with our sports update. Good morning, Glads. I'm Dylan Ham, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Our basketball teams played the Purple School on Wednesday. The Glads took it to the paint with a score of 77 to 68. The Lady Glads lost a fierce battle to the Mama Bears, 51 to 65. Both basketball teams take on the Elizabeth Cardinals tonight. The men's team is away, and the Lady Glads are at home. Come out and support our intense teams tonight. Attention, Glads. If you are interested in playing on the Ultimate Frisbee team, but did not attend the meeting, please see Mr. Wallace or Mr. Nell for details and information. Glads, if you are a hockey fan, then check out this opportunity to catch an avalanche game. FBLA DECA is hosting a hockey fundraiser on Saturday, March 11th at 5 p.m. at the Pepsi Center. Come watch the Avs take on the Ottawa Senators. Tickets start at a reasonable $28 with $5 of every ticket purchase going to FBLA DECA. To order your tickets, go to this website. The Grizzlyator Swim and Dive team is taking a 6-3 and three record to league championships tomorrow at Cheyenne Mountain High School. Go out and watch them create some waves. Gentlemen, if you missed the Boys Swim and Dive meeting on Wednesday with Miss Wickford, you should go see her in room 110 to get the information. Tennis, anyone? Ladies, if you are interested in trying out for tennis in the spring, Mr. Portugal will be hosting a meeting on Thursday, February 9th in room 115. Come check it out. Finally, we have many talented students who play sports outside of our school. Today, we have a student who is making a mark for himself in the world of skateboarding. Here's Reed Watson in his own words. I got involved in skateboarding when I was about three years old and I just watched my brother do it a lot and I wanted to start doing it so my parents bought me a skateboard and I started doing it. When I started, I was three and I started taking it like really seriously when I was about six or seven. When I travel, I've probably been 
to at least like five or six states for skateboarding and my favorite one would probably be California just because all my friends are there and a lot of my favorite skate parks are there. I have probably upwards of like 20, 20 or 30. It's like all around my room and all around my house. And probably my favorite is this one that I won in my first ever contest and I still have it. Um, the hardest trick I know how to do is probably a 540. So you go up and you spin like a full time and then another half. And probably my favorite trick to do is probably that. One of my current sponsors right now is Pope Skateboards, and I just got sponsored by them by going to a lot of contests in California where they're where they're based, and they just kind of like my skating and liked who I am as a person, I guess, and that's how I got sponsored. They just liked me and stuff like that. Um, what I do for them? Well, I I ride their skateboards, I wear a lot of their shirts at contests, and whenever I make like an Instagram or a Facebook video of me skating, I tag them in it. Um, usually I save them all up, put them in my dad's room under his bed, and then I have a contest on my ramp that I have in my backyard every year from a lot of kids around my neighborhood or at the local skate parks, and then I give it all the way to them. I'm probably getting skateboards to probably like 20, 30 kids over like my whole life of skating, just like see a kid that needs one. If I have like extras or old ones that I've ridden but they're not like terrible, I give them to them. As far as I can take it, that's how far I like to take it. That'd be pretty nice just to do it for the rest of my life. And I'll probably do it no matter what I'm doing as a career, I'll still skate. One thing I'd like people to know about skateboarders is that we're not all drug addicts that do nothing with our lives and stuff like that. A lot of people go to college or own businesses and stuff like that. Wow, that's some cool stuff, Reed. That's all I have for today. I'm Dylan Ham. Have a great weekend. See you at the game tonight. Back to you, Anthony and Abby. Thanks, Dylan. Attention NJROTC cadets. The Military Ball is on February 18th from 6 to 11 p.m. Tickets are $15 for cadets and $20 for cadet guests. Remember to complete your paperwork ahead of time to get time to get on the entrance list at the Peterson Air Force Base gate. You will need your driver's license and student ID at the gate. Guest passes are now available in the front office and are due on February 10th. Ladies going to the military ball, there are plenty of dresses waiting for you in Becca's closet. The dresses are free. To get one, contact Miss Melina in room 111 or Miss HK in the library to make an appointment. Check out those dresses at lunch, on green days, or if you have a study hall. If you have a dress you want to donate to Becca's closet, please contact Miss Melina or Miss HK. Attention all students, especially seniors. The deadline for the February session of credit recovery is Monday. Get your applications and fees to Ms. Abeda in the Counseling Center. No payments will be accepted after the February 6th deadline. Get back on track to graduate on time. The Robot Challenge is coming to Whitefield High School in Bowers Gym tomorrow. 33 teams of robot builders from all over the city will invade Bowers Gym for a citywide robot challenge. The fun starts at 9 and goes until 4 p.m. You should come and check it out. For those of you who picked up an application to join KWHS News, they are due back today. See Mrs. Noob to schedule your interview. The Honors Teacher Cadet applications are also due soon. See Ms. Ship for deadline. Finally, attention environmental club members. Your pictures have been delayed until next Wednesday, February 8th. See Mr. Cummings in room 204 for more information. That's our news for this week. Remember, next Tuesday is a student day off. 
I'm Abby Lebecki. Have a great weekend, get some rest, and get healthy. I'm Anthony Berkey, and this was your KWHS News. Oh,